remember when I said I wanted to get better at vlogging and then I just straight up did not vlog at all yesterday? Because I do. It is currently 2 o'clock on Monday, June 29th. It's just, it's been so hard in the store because normally like I got a couple minutes to myself so I can vlog, but we've been inputting all the inventory and stuff. So the lovely lady of the Share Bear Boat has come up to the store and volunteered to help me. And so like she's been folding clothes, she's been tagging clothes while I've been inputting everything into the system. And so obviously I don't want to stop like, hey, one sec chair and I just need to go vlog. So yeah, that's where we're at. So it's been, it's been a slow process to get everything sorted and, and then just get everything up to my standard. That's been a pretty slow process too, just because like there's clean and there's the store like stocked and then there's my levels. Mm. And I'm a little bit of a stickler for that. So that's that's been today. I've been undoing a lot of things and redoing them to my standards. Plus, now that I'm here, I have to start helping with the orders and stuff. And yesterday, my like entire day almost was spent doing invoicing and getting that back up to snuff, like in between helping customers. So, yeah, it's just been like it's been a lot once I get the store in order and now that invoicing is kind of back under control once like that's all sorted then I can just do like invoicing 15 minutes a day every day kind of thing and I can spend my time organizing things instead of spending my time fixing everything so I will be very happy for that when we get to that point but we're not there yet I figure we need at least until Wednesday because right now I'm just trying to go through and make the store look pretty and then the next step is going to be putting labels out for everything and making sure that all the labels look the same because like in the liquor section there's like three different types of labels and then there's like labels that just have somebody hand wrote the price in which is not cool <laughs> and then there's like an entire wall that has almost no labels and yeah so that's the plan for I think today and tomorrow if it takes that long and then um after that we need to make sure that all the clothes scan and that all the gifts scan slash have barcodes. So there's a lot. And then at that point, we can chill a little bit and just go back to the regular maintenance. So yeah, that's where we're at. It's taken a while, but the store's already looking better, slowly. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, I'll show you what I've been working on. I think I was working on this the other day, um, but I've made more progress on it. So there's my lighthouse, it's coming along. I've picked the yellow color. I went under the share bear and I brought my bag and I was working on it. So yeah, making progress. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go for now and um, chill a bit before I have to go back down to work at about, in about 20 minutes. So that's where we're at. Oh, nobody wants to see that. The chef just came out of his cabin shirtless and threw coffee, excess coffee outside. I don't know why it couldn't have gone down to strain. Anyways, that's where we're at. And with that, I am home for the night. It is seven o'clock. Oh my God, my body. So I hadn't seen my one boss for like a day and a half, it felt like, and I want to talk to her about clothing because she does all the ordering and stuff and like what we want to mark down and such. And um, I had popped into the kitchen to ask one of my other bosses a question and then I saw her in the back. So I like ran out and an hour. We chatted for an hour about like such random things, some relate to work, some not, and um, I just got home. So it is seven o'clock. I'm going to make myself something to eat. I'm trying to decide. I have leftover steak from didn't lunch, lunch. So I'm trying to decide if I want to make that or, or if I want to have chicken, which I pulled out, or if I just wanted the chicken tomorrow. So that's where I'm at. Oh, my body hurts. I need to change. I feel gross. But I am done for the day, which is very exciting. I got a lot of the clothes fixed and organized almost all the way there. I'm trying to get my socks off. This is not working. And then tomorrow we do everything again. I wish I got before pictures of what the store looked like before so I could show the beautiful after, but it's fine. I'll still probably try to remember to show the beautiful after, but I'm gonna go now, get some food in my tummy and then kind of see, see how I feel about everything. <laughs> Oh 
my goodness, it's only quarter to nine and I am already so gassed. I've just been watching Covert Affairs and working on the lighthouse. I'm almost done the water and then it's almost just down to the details of the, like the door and the actual light. So that is very exciting. I'll be happy to finish this, not because I hate it, but a little bit because I hate it. I don't, I don't like doing satin stitch, which is pretty funny considering this entire thing is satin stitch, but it looks really cool. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. But anyways, I'm just gonna keep going and keep watching Covert Affairs and I'm thinking, gonna try to climb into bed by 10 at the latest. Bubs asked me if I want to go down to the Sherbro tonight and I was like, no, I just need alone time because I think just going from COVID and staying home by myself and working a lot by myself to like all the staff that we have here alone. And then we've kind of been busy for customers and stuff too. So it's just like, it's a lot and it's just too much. I was feeling very overwhelmed earlier today. There was a point when there was nobody in the store, like no staff, no customers, whatever. And it was just quiet. And it was just like so peaceful, but I was also like anxiety attacking it out because I was just like, just so overwhelmed. But hopefully we're a little better now. I'm going to keep doing this. Um, the owner's son and daughter-in-law and grandson are coming in a couple weeks and they're doing his birthday here. It's Harry Potter themed birthday. And so I reached out to his mom because we met last year and we follow each other on Instagram. And I was like, I need to know what Harry Potter house he is because they're doing a Harry Potter themed party. Because I think I'm gonna make him like a, a little thing. I think I might do like an owl holding a letter and then he's Gryffindor. So I found that out. So we'll see what we can do, but that's the next step. I want to finish this first and back it, and then I can put it up on my wall there. Wait, uh, there, see? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm just rambling. Alrighty, I am dead. This is not part of the plan. It is 22 11. I am so gassed. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I didn't do much more of my embroidery, but that's okay. Good night.